Okay guys, I'm back with another fan deck analysis. Uh, so let's get straight on with it really. Um, obviously to start off we have Corrine, and Corolush and Cortoral. Obviously Coral based, obviously from the prefix Cor. Um, we've already had a Coral Pokemon, obviously uh, Corsola. But um, it'd be nice to have another one. They look different from Corsola, they're mainly based on like flowers and plants rather than Corsola's kind of rock like design so on there are water rock types which I don't like as much but it could be you know water grass maybe um, the designs uh, I like Cortoral uh, I don't really like Corrine though it's a bit too uh, simple I don't know if simple is the right word for it and Coralash its face kind of looks too different from its body so it doesn't blend that well but you know we've already had several water rocks in this fan decks already we've had Rockster and you know maybe too many water rocks you know and obviously most of the fossil Pokemon are water rock Pokemon as well so that's not great now we have Alexseed, Elect Leaf and Electiplant or Grass Electric types now this is interesting uh, I don't think we've had a Grass Electric type Pokemon at all uh, it might be interesting to see what they'd you know do with one uh, Alexseed, Elect Leaf, Electiplant I like Electric Plant's design. Electa Leaf, Elect Leaf is alright. Elect Seed again is a bit too simple really for my liking. Um, but yeah, it'd be nice if they carried on that kind of antenna from Elect Seed all the way through. But they haven't, so that's my only, well, one of my only criticisms there. So let's uh, skip on again. Now we have Orbo. Uh, I guess it's also an all type, so I guess I'd be able to use stuff like um, well, all types of moves because it's got like fire, it's got well, orange, I mean fire no wait it's got the colors of the rainbow I don't know um, but there's colors surrounding it so I, it's obviously a normal type because it, it will balance out it might have access to you know different types of moves so not just one type but um, it might be interesting to see one of those in generation 6 I'm not sure really because um, we've had like Kecleon is kind of you know a Mew and Smee Smeagol no that's the Lord of the Rings Smeargle, no, yeah, that's it, that's, I have to say it properly, um, which are kind of like normal, but they can have loads of moves, so I'm not sure really about that one. If we went here to look at Shrimpy and Shrimpad, obviously based on shrimps, both water bug type, I really like these designs, just because we haven't had a shrimp Pokemon ever, I don't think, don't hold me to that, please. Um, uh, but yeah, I like the designs, uh, yeah, showing that shrimp, uh, Barboach might have taken some inspiration from shrimps, etc. But yeah, they look pretty cool. Uh, shrimp pads, legs, they look great, but that's alright. Yeah, I, li I like to see a water bug type Pokemon as well, because we had too many of those, if any at all, I can't remember really. Now, if we look at here, we have Brebo, Breblaze, Brebra, Brerain, Brebolt, Brechill, Breclone. Obviously, um, kind of like cast form, but based on clouds here. So they'll obviously change, like, um, the uh, cast form does in the weather. Uh, Brebo, I, I, I like the designs here because kind of like two things below it and it changes to what would be in the kind of weather. We've got flying uh, with Brebo, flying fire obviously when it's sunny, flying water when it's raining, flying electric when it's thunderstorm, ing, <laughs> uh, flying ice when it's hailing and flying. I'm not sure about the last one because it's never flying really. So kind of an upgrade from the original so but um, I like the fact that it's just a, just a flying type not a normal flying type because that does get annoying sometimes now if we move on to Surfhin and Tidude obviously based on surfers uh, both water types we've had loads of water types in this deck so far so I'm gonna say um, not, no Surfhin uh, looks pretty cool with the design but Tidude it looks terrible really it doesn't really fit with the board at all Obviously it would no surf like surf, evidently. But um I don't like the design really. Its tail kind of looks like it's coming out of its side, not its back as well. And the hands and arms are too thin and simple for me really. So it's it's not a great uh design really. And then we have Leo Pine, which is a water poison type. Um look go back to Kinnip in the last episode, kinda of looks like it might be related to that, or possibly quillfish. Um, but water poison, this is the second water poison, poison type in this deck, so I'm just going to say no too many. But I like the design a lot more than Kinnip, so um, I like its kind of fins and its 
detail as well, and it's just like colouring, so it's pretty cool. Um, but type-wise, we only want really one more if we have any. Uh, here we have Wayral and Humbreach. Obviously, based on whales, we've had whale Pokemon before in the form of Whale Whalemer and Whale Lord, but um, they were basic whales really. Whereas Wayral and Humbreach have, as you can see, like um, markings. I'm going to say on them, and they look a lot, look a lot more detailed. Well, they're a lot more detailed. I like them a lot more. So obviously water Pokemon again. So many water Pokemon in this uh, fan deck. So obviously the person that made it likes a lot of water. But yeah, they look pretty cool. I'd be happy to have a hum reach on my team. Looks like it'd be a very strong Pokemon. Now we have Marvolt and Mar Marklitz. Obviously based on sharks. Uh, we've already had shark in the form of Sharpedo. Uh, that was just a water dark type. As a water dark type, these are water electric types. An interesting pairing again, maybe a bit too similar to Chin Chu and Lantern, but um, yeah, I like the designs though, they're pretty cool. Marvel, I don't know, Marvel kind of just look, looking sh like to the left hand side, which isn't great, it should be really looking more at, at us than that, but obviously it's just a t 2D sprite working in 3D for Generation 6. And Mark Litz looks pretty cool too. Now, if we're going to move on to Octoring and Octo Chop. Water and Water Fight type. I really like the design for Octo Ring. Obviously, we've had an octopus before in the shape of. Wait till I think of it. Um, um, da -dum -da 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 -da. Remoraid evolves into. Drum roll, please. Yes, you're right. I'm gonna assume you remember what it is. I don't. But yeah, they look pretty cool. Octo Ring uh, and Octo Chop looks really cool as well. Uh, water Fight as well. We've had that Polygraph, but you know. It's pretty original, so I'd be happy to see that in the game. Again, another water type, so maybe really, really too many water types in this deck. And now we're on to Brit, Brit, Britrop, Bricolom, and Brickower. Obviously, the fight, fighting types like Matrop, Machamp, Ma, Ma, Matrop, Matrop, Machoke, Machamp. That's how you say it. Uh, Brit, Britrop looks pretty cool. Bricolom looks too basic, really. It's just looking straight at the camera. And Brickower is just a bigger brick column, so that's just terrible. I'm sorry, but it is. It's just got more orange. But I like the Brick Chop Brick Chop Brick Chops design. Uh, maybe maybe a rock type would have worked better in there, obviously with bricks. So um, but yeah, that's my only criticism. Really bad a bad designs for Brick Column and Brick Cower. But Brick Chops looks pretty cool. I'd be happy to uh, have a Brick Chop on my team. When it evolved, I obviously run uh, chuck it away because it's just terrible, but yeah. Right, so that was the last Pokemon for today. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time in the next analysis video. Goodbye.